if you ever needed a poster child to show that the PSA test is effective and worthwhile, it could be me. When I was 52, I scheduled a physical, and at the time I felt perfectly healthy, reasonably active and fit. I really didn't have any health problems. I wasn't taking any medication. The doctor came back and said, everything looks great, except this PSA is a little bit high. We better check that out, 10.7. And uh, when I went home, I did some research on 10.7 and was really quite alarmed. You're talking about a disease that, that has a definite chance of killing you. Prostate cancer is virtually incurable when it has left the prostate spread through the bloodstream. It is a very painful, miserable experience for patients. It doesn't kill quickly. Unfortunately, it was two days before my daughter's wedding, which kind of gave me a different outlook at that wedding. The U.S. Preventative Services Task Force suggested or recommended against PSA testing for the average middle-aged and elderly man. It's going to be a little pinch, OK? They overstated the harms of PSA testing, understated the benefits of PSA testing. In the mid-1990s, 41, 42,000 men would die each year from prostate cancer, and now it's about 28,000. So we tried to figure out what would happen if we went back to before PSA became an approved test. We looked at how many people would come in with metastatic prostate cancer, and you would increase the numbers from 8 to 25,000 men per year. That's because the PSA test allows you to detect the disease before it's had a chance to spread. I'm much happier that I came in with a PSA at 10.7 than wait to have symptoms, where then the treatment options are so much more limited, and I don't think they're as life-saving. I see patients who are diagnosed with prostate cancer because of an elevated PSA on an everyday basis. Some of those people have a small focus of indolent cancer where treatment is probably not needed. And some have very aggressive cancer and large volumes of it where it makes a very big difference that you caught it early rather than later, and this is a very common event. They knew I needed the right treatment soon. The subsequent test that PSA leads to if it persistently is elevated and the patient agrees is a prostate biopsy. They did a biopsy and it proved that I did have uh, prostate cancer. It was a grade six tumor that most likely should be operated on. The patient can decide whether they want to be treated and, and actually choose from a menu of options for treatment. 52 years old and good health, he recommended that I do a prostatectomy instead of the radiation at this point. I know over-treatment can be a problem in some patients, but in my case, I was happy to go through with it and get on with my life. I've gotten past all the problems that were associated with the surgery after six months or a year, and, and it's almost like I have had no change. It was more of a more of a speed bump in my life instead of a, a you know, real problem. Detecting prostate cancer early has allowed us to reduce the number of men who have died from prostate cancer enormously. Most men who are faced with this question would wind up choosing, yeah, I should have the blood test. If I hadn't had that PSA test, I, I'm not sure this would have been caught early enough to be treated successfully.